What's going on, everyone? It is I Stay Blish, and otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood black and Asian, back again with another commentary. Yesterday's commentary didn't really fit my standards of, like, you know, quality of video. So today's hashtag for the beginning of the video is going to be Amp It Up. This is going to encourage me to, uh, you know, step up my content quality, as thus, like yesterday, I was just really not happy with that video. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do a better video slash better job in today's. So, uh, yeah, as far as you guys can tell from the title above or below, depending Depending on where you guys are watching this, I am going to be talking about a pipe or a bong or pipes or bongs or whatever the fuck you want to say. Basically, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of having a dry pipe versus a water bong or water pipe. So, um, yeah, for this video, we're going to start off with the dry pipe pros. Fairly sure many of you watching this video have tried a dry pipe before. It is kind of like what we all started off with after we got done with the cans, after we got done with the aluminum foil, we pretty much moved on to this item right after we considered ourselves you know hey pot is kind of good i'm gonna try it and i kind of want to smoke it out of something more than just you know a makeshift kind of shit so you're gonna hit up your smoke shop and you're gonna buy a dry pipe so um i'm gonna give it a point for pros or cons like this is gonna be a pro because it's newcomer friendly you know everybody goes to this for their first piece and uh they probably don't stick to that so we're gonna move on to some more pros about the dry pipe pretty much it's small and convenient convenient very easy to do like you know you can put it in your pocket right alongside your bic lighter your hemp wick whatever the fuck you got like it's very easy to bring with you and it's very mobile like you can use it in your room you can use it outside you can use it in a bathroom you can use it wherever the fuck your little heart desires so yeah it's gonna get another pro for convenience and uh you know size factor so moving right along to number three of the pros for the dry pipe i'm gonna go with ease of use it's very simple to use like you know there's a hole right where you're sp supposed to ignite the weed and uh yeah you just throw your butt on there like you couldn't make it more easier for the person to know how to smoke out of it unless you said hey put an arrow right where the bulb where the bulb and just say hey smoke it right here like it's so easy to use and like yeah it just gets three pros out of my book so moving right along to the cons of the dry pipe i'm gonna go with number one being harsh smoke like it just hits your lungs so hard it's almost like a shotgun of smoke straight to the back of your throat ah uh, it's just really annoying number two i'm gonna go with scooby snacks this one doesn't happen to a lot of people a lot of the times because you know there are things such as screens that prevent this exact kind of thing from happening but hey couldn't find any more cons so yeah scooby snacks are quite a bitch when it comes to dry pipes because when you suck in it's just like hey you know that dry plant matter that burnt plant matter that you had oh all over your tongue ah oh, man that sucks but anyways i'm moving right along to number three of the cons i'm gonna go with a bad butane taste I really don't like butane taste because it just completely kind of, you know, I'm not going to say it completely ruins the time of smoking weed for me, but it pretty much ruins just, I'm just expecting a really nice taste from the bud when it smells great. And you know, when bud smells dank, you just want to like, oh shit, this is going to taste really nice in my lungs. Oh no. Oh no. Butane. Yeah. That's kind of a bad, uh, bad thing in my opinion. But, uh, yeah guys, that is the pros and cons for dry pipes. Moving right along to bongs. Bongs are smoother. This is going to be number one for the pros bongs have smoother hits due to the water filtration and just overall it's an amazing smoking experience and uh, this is going to lead on to number two of the pros it's going to be bigger hits overall every time i've used a bong the bigger and smoother hits just make you feel like you're casually smoking with your friends you're just talking right after that bong hit you just exhale a cloud like it was nothing because you don't feel that shit like all the harsh like uh i don't know what they're called like toxins i'm not gonna say toxins but all the harshness from the smoke was just pretty much dissipated through the water filtration and you're just breathing thc at this point and for number three of the pros this is gonna bring me to the point where you get baked as fuck like dude you are gone by the like the third bong hit and a few conversations with your friends in the room like you are just gone and you're just having a great time well at least for me anyways when i smoke out of bongs but uh moving right along to the cons yeah you gotta say some bad stuff about the ultimate choice but uh yeah guys number one for the cons is going to be hassle to clean yeah, this was one of the ones I just oh, I had to throw it in here because when you have to clean a bong It is it's not gonna be this like, you know, throw it in the sink real quick rinse it off kind of thing It's more along the lines of hey, you need this tool this tool You need to soak it in water for this long have to clean it with hot water It's kind of a like, you know, it's a hassle. It's a taxing process almost But you know once it's clean You don't have to clean it for like another like two three months I'd clean it like every two months if you're a hygienic stoner if you know what I mean, but uh yeah 
yeah so that was number one number two is going to be it is expensive as fuck for a good one like you can go to your little head shops and get your little small ass bongs you know bubblers kind of things like yeah that's convenient yeah it has the kind of water filtration but for like shower head perks bell bottom whatever the fuck like the most expensive bong you could ever think of dude like <sighs> the more expensive the better smoking experience by the way but um not for every company but i'm just gonna say that like for most pieces it does work that way the more expensive it is the better it will work for your smoking pleasure but uh yeah moving on to number three we're going to say it is pretty much a stationary piece you can't move with a bong unless it's a bubbler but then it's not a bong but then a bong is a slang term like ah oh, we don't really want to get into that but anyways it's not mobile it's more of a stationary kind of thing and uh yeah you're gonna want to stay at your house stay at a bench stay at somewhere where you can sit down and toke up with a bunch of your friends uh it's a con simply due to the fact that it's not mobile so yeah guys this has been my video on pipes or bongs hopefully you guys can agree with me on some of the pros and cons for this video let me know what you guys prefer in the comment section below i would love to hear those out and uh yeah by the way my favorites are bongs i don't knock dry pipes like i love them like i said i started out with one like most of you and uh yeah i just moved on to greater and better things so uh yeah guys this has been i stay blazing feel free to like the video if you did enjoy it also subscribe if you're new and uh check out yesterday's video annotation at the end of this and uh yeah like i said this has been i stay blazing and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video about munchies